Ladies and gentlemen, here we have three mystery fishing boxes from all corners of the world. One from the United States, one from Japan, and one from the United Kingdom. So after doing a little research, I found that these three countries specifically had the most fishermen per people. Trust me, it's science. Each of these boxes should be valued at around $100. Or they should be because of what I paid for them. The challenge. Catch at least three fish with three different lures from each three of these boxes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. Before we get started, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, you might as well leave a thumbs up on the video. Today, we have three mystery fishing boxes. One from the United States, one from the United Kingdom, and one from Japan. Trey, myself, and April behind the camera. We did... Trey, myself, and April behind the camera. We're gonna be using these boxes today. We're gonna go ahead and unbox them, see what all we've got inside of them. I hope it was worth the money that I spent on them. Like I said, each three of these countries have the most fishermen per person, if that makes sense. Like I said, just trust me, because it's science. So let's go ahead and unbox these bad boys right here. I will go ahead and unbox the Japan one, April can do the American one, and Trey can do the UK one. So without further ado, God, let's go ahead and I really, really, really hope that I got the amount of lures in here, the, the money that I paid for it, if that makes sense. I said that all backwards, but that's okay. Ooh. All right, we're gonna kind of do this quick because we got a lot of fishing to do today. First one up, made in Japan, all the way up top. Japanese writing on it, and they look insane. I don't even know how to, you guys know what that says? I have no idea what that says. That looks crazy. If it works, it'll blow my mind. Underspins that look absolutely insane. Crazy. I don't know about this one. Big bite? That's not a Japanese fishing lure, is it? I've never seen these though. What are these? I've never seen these things in my life. I'm, I'm very familiar with big bite. I didn't think that was a Japanese thing. I don't know why it come in a Japanese box. That makes a lot of sense. That's really cool. What is this? Oh my. A hog farmer? There's no way that's that's definitely says probably made in the USA. And then we've got what are these? What are these, Trey? Razor shad? Yeah. You seen these? Very interesting. Also made in the USA, so that's great. I got a box from Japan with Japanese fishing lures that were also American. I think, but I don't know. <laughs> That's great. Definitely got ripped off on that box. Overpack, very interesting. With a warning label on it, by the way. With a warning label. Don't know what that means once you open up oh. like a snake or something. I will die. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a, I think it's a topwater bait. Yeah, it's a little topwater thing. It goes. I don't think this one's gonna work. <laughs> you don't think so? No. I mean, the conditions are pretty good for topwater fish today. I just, I don't think any of these are gonna work, that one. No. Or that one. But this one will definitely. This is my favorite one. What is that? I don't know. I've never even seen that. Oh, Trey. Have you seen these? Look at that. Those are gas. Why do they have? Trey, I got you something. I got you something. Trey, I got you something. Francesca's sister. Francesca's sister. You know still got Francesca? Do you really? I sure do. <laughs> Francesca was a, a spinner bait. A spinner bait that got chewed with yeah. briar. What is that? I don't know. Uh, a swim jig with a blade on it. That's actually pretty cool. I, I'm, I know who Gambler is. I've never seen that. Have you ever seen that, Trey? I have. A swim jig with a blade on it. That's actually pretty cool. That color is sick too, for especially for Florida. Why do they have stickers on them? Blue, blue, oh, maybe that means green, good yellow. Bag. Good bag. There's a green, yellow, blue, yellow. Why do they have stickers? This one has. 21 on it. Can you do something for me? 21. <laughs> Yellow means like caution. Caution? Okay. I like that. Yeah, those look good. What else you got? Oh, this is Ooh, crazy. Look at that. That could probably, those could probably go on the back of your little chatterbait like that. Look at that. Oh, dude. That's going to catch a monster. Dude, there's a lot of stuff in this box. Yeah. I like that. What are this those? One, I don't know. Fluke, Fluke stick? I've never used those before. That looks like a cross between like the tail of a... I'm an idiot. I was Fluke finna say a Fluke and a Senko. Yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. 
I like the color, watermelon red. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, probably yes. not. This is a cute one. This one, this one's a little iffy. I don't, cause what I don't know that? what it is. It they, says made in USA. Okay, so did two of the Japanese ones. I don't know how that works. <laughs> so okay. what is this? I've actually fished those. Whoever gets those is gonna have a great time with those. <laughs> Are they really? Yeah. <laughs> I've never used them. They look good though. They look like just little They're stick slugs. baits. I'm still interested to know why some of these have blue stickers, one has green, and some have yellow. I do not understand what that's all about. Maybe it's like, this one catches bass, this catches catfish. Well, that, or I don't think that's how that works. Dolphin. Dolphin. Mahi Mahi. Mahi Mahi. And the golf course ponds. That's all I got. It's all. That's it. And she's out. All right, next up. Well, that turned out to be a pretty good box. I'm not going to lie. Whoever gets to fish with that box is going to have a great day, just like Trey said. So with that said, last one unboxed, UK. Trey, you are up. Really quick, guys, huge shout out to Guggen Squad for sponsoring today's video. Make sure when you guys are on GuggenSquad.com doing any shopping, whether you're going to get some of the new spring merch they just dropped, any of the new fishing lures, the bait casters are coming out soon, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure when you're on GuggenSquad.com, you guys are shopping and saving with code YAKPAC, linked down in the description and in the pinned comment. Again, shout out to Guggen Squad for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to fishing. We got oh, some. Weston is good. Ooh. Those are good. I like That's those. They're like some little yeah, frogs. Oh, that color's crazy too. Yeah, I like that. It's like a Cali California 420-ish. Interesting. I like With that. With some chartreuse on it. Yeah, that, that's actually really that's cool. That's a guaranteed bite right there. Yeah, that's really cool. What are those? What are those? Gravity pintail stick. High gravity salted. That's some uh Cinco-ish maybe? Oh, yeah. Belly salt for Dude, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I bought this box. We get a free sticker. Instantly worth Let's it. Let's go. Mo Ned Worm, Weston, Scandina Scandinavia. Ned that Worm? looks cool too, not gonna lie. What color? Like a, It looks like a purple and silver. Very Ned interesting. Ned Glow, Glow Echo. What in the? Now, come on now. How, that thing is big as my dang arm. Dude. 23 centimeter. 96 gram red bullhead uv radiant goby shad so immediate thought large i do not think yeah look how look how that's massive i do not think this was intended for bass i think it was intended for musky i think they musky fish a lot over there really yeah or probably maybe they do a lot of big fish fishing to with the... big baits and this is a big freaking bait. Oh, dude, we got more of them. Oh my gosh. This is a baby peacock. Oh, there's no way these are for bass, dude. That's <laughs> literally a baby peacock. <laughs> <laughs> Look how freaking big. I really do not think these are made for bass. There's no way these are bass lures. No They're chance. They're giant. There's no way. Look how thick they are, too. They're like. Yeah, these no, there's no way these are for bass. But that's what you get for buying a mystery fishing box. What else is in there? There's one more thing. That is a peacock fishing lure and a half if I've ever seen one. You mean the Mike Long Special? What is that? It's a treble hook. That's all it is? I don't know. I don't know what that is. But I see a treble hook, so we can catch something for sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we're gonna figure out who gets to fish with what country's box. Now, those three specific countries absolutely love baseball. In fact, Japan just recently won the World Baseball Classic. So, we're gonna settle this little challenge, this little dispute here in the Batten Cages. First one to hit five baseballs is safe. So that means that person will get to pick the box that they wanna use first. Second place will get to pick the second box, and then third place is gonna have to get whatever's left over. Also, in 1997, I did in fact win the Georgia State T-Ball Championship. Not a flex, not to brag to you guys or anything like that. I'm just saying, you boys got a little experience. So, well, that's it. First one of five wins, who's up first? Of course, Trey wants to bat first. Unfortunately, we're fortunate. We do not have a pitch machine. They used to call me the pitch machine because I throw 97 straight down the middle. That was a moonshot change up. That was a triple. This is uh this is not looking so good. That was a balk right there. That's a straight ball. That's a ball. 
Appreciate it. Can't hit this fastball. Watch this. I'm about to give him 97 down the middle. The old four seamer fastball right here, boys. Trey, which box would you like to fish with? I'll take the American box. All right, Trey. Five for five, huh? Yeah, that's big, respectful. Big uh, Little League World Series kind of guy, huh? Little League, middle school, travel ball. Uh, you know, just basically the best middle infielder to ever play the game. You going yard on him, you hitting dingers? Uh -huh. All right, we're going to see. Wing and a miss, strike one. Ooh. Nice breeze. I'm looking at one for four right now. Strike, that's literally straight down the middle. All right, well, it looks like I'm up to bat next. Are you gonna pitch to me or is Trey gonna pitch to me? I'll pitch. You'll pitch? Okay, yeah, I'll pitch. one for five is all I have to beat to be able to pick the box that I want. Should I smoke him up or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, throw, throw some gas. Mm -hmm. Batter up, baby, here we go. I'm finna show y'all what won me the 1997 Georgia State T-Ball Championship. Ooh, check swing. All right. Moonshot, baby. That was fun. Ooh, I'm gonna rush the mound. Keep playing with me. That was a strike, boys. <laughs> Golly, one for, I'm one for five, dude. No. Just saying. Best pitcher in the league. Come at me, sign me. Well, it seems as if somehow my 1997 state championship t-ball skills did not carry over to the batting cages. So we're now tied. So I think we run that back and do best of three. Yeah. Let's do it. One, baby. That was. Ooh, God, one again, one again. Holy smokes, I'm one for three again. April, all you gotta do is beat that and then you get to pick the next box. Ooh! This is not looking good, boys. Ooh, y'all, I'm swinging. Yeah, I'm about to say that one, that one almost, she probably would've rushed them out. Well, Miss April. What box would you like to fish with? The UK box. I get the Japanese box. Trey gets the box with everything good inside of it. Now that we determine who gets to fish with what box, let's get to fishing. All right, boys, we're here now at uh, spot number one. And I'm gonna start out with this crazy, I don't even know, contraption right here. It just looks the coolest. I really don't know how to rig it. I would assume this little wiggly piece right there would probably be the, would that be the head or the tail? I don't know. As crazy as this lure is, I don't even think it matters. Oh my gosh, dude, look how thick this thing is. Yeah, that just looks like just a tangled disaster. If something bites this, I would be extremely surprised, but it is definitely probably the most Japanese lure that I've fished with. Also, a random thought I just had, that box didn't have any hard baits in it. The Japanese one didn't. Dude, I'm actually upset about that. I just, random thought, random thoughts with TJ just now. All right, this area looks a little congested, so let's move on down just a little bit and see what we can make happen. Dude, I feel like the fish here are gonna be like scared of this thing. I really, like I'm starting out with it because I think it's gonna be the hardest one. I just don't see a bass eating that. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but it's gonna be, I feel like this one's gonna be really tough just because it's like, Sometimes it's good to use fishing lures that like bass have never seen, but like something like that, bro, if that was coming at me, I ain't finna put that in my mouth. I know for a fact, this, this flow of water right here, like this, it's gotta happen. That is a fish, that's a good fish. That is a good fish. That's it. What the heck happened? Dude, what is this boof reel? Oh my gosh, I felt him, dude, no. I knew that was gonna happen. The reel was like moving. I don't know, that was weird. That is a good sign though. That means fish will eat that. So, or at least one fish was dumb enough to eat it, I guess. Oh.
there's no way I got a fish out of that backlash. There's no way. There's no way. Is that a fish? I do got a fish. Oh my God. He's stuck. He's stuck. I just tried to flip it in there. He's stuck. Oh, he's off. Is he off? No. Dude. What in the heck? Got it, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Come here. Yep, baby. <laughs> Let's go. I told you guys the next fish that bit was going to catch the absolute work. And my boy right here caught the business on the Japanese goofy shad looking thing not a bad fish not at all that is what I'm talking about baby yes holy smokes all that stuff that I just went through to catch this fish 10 out of 10 100 percent worth it let's go fish number one on the speed sinko let's go Let's go, boys. That did not take long. Fish number one falls victim to the speed sinker. That did not take long. About three casts in pond number two. Let's see if we can catch one just a little bit bigger and upgrade. See ya. Fish. Ow. Fish. Ow. Let's go on the fluke stick. Let's go, fish number two. Let's go, baby. That was sick. I seen him come up and swirl on it. Not big, but lure number two off the list. See ya. <laughs> it's my first fish look at this fish the first one i've literally been fishing with this for an hour i finally caught one okay i got two more to go like i said i think i'm gonna save this one for a little bit later it's where i can like upgrade uh my hook size but i think for now i'm gonna just try this little worm right here it kind of reminds me of the guggen uh, blue baby color just the way that looks pretty unique worm though i thought big bite was an american company but i guess they do japanese stuff too it's just kind of like uh it just looks weird and just all over the place and that is definitely like some japanese type stuff because they have the craziest weirdest coolest fishing lures that i've ever seen in my life Oh god, I got him. Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, I got him. Oh, he's digging. He's, he's a runner. He's a track star. Oh, let's go. Oh, baby. Ah, yes, dude. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. A little grass bass with some cheese on it. We just switched up to this little, uh, I guess, Japanese big bite version of a crazy worm or something. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, I think we got a couple more baits in our pockets to change through, and then we're gonna upgrade hook size, like I said, and then go with that crazy kamikaze looking fishing lure, but heck yeah, dude, not bad at all. Lure number three and four is gonna be this chatterbait and this, I don't know what this is called. It's like a Berkeley Stinger or something. I don't know, it looks like a good, good chatterbait trailer. So we're gonna match these up just like that we're gonna go catch bass number three on lure number three and four let's go on the chatterbait let's go 
Oh! Kind on the chatterbait. Quick release. Sorry, we can probably catch another one. Let's go. Biggest fish of the day so far on the chatterbait. Ooh. Let's go. You think you wanted it? You got it good. Officially just checked off lure number three and four with this fish right here. Biggest fish of the day so far, about a two pounder. Fun bite. Let's get him back. See ya. Thanks for biting. God, I got that one out the way. I feel like this one was probably the hardest one. I don't know, probably not. Actually, this one probably will be the hardest, but I did get that one out of the way, so I only got two more. I didn't even bring the big ones because they look like whales, and I don't know how to fish with them. And TJ left me by myself, so I'm definitely not even gonna try. Wait a second. Um, did they give me some discontinued bait to look at? <laughs> it's like a malfunction right there. It's like a crawfish beetle. And this is supposed to be its claws, but it messed up. So we're gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna try this one, I think. the little crawfish something I thought this one was gonna be the hardest one I was gonna make this one the last one I'm like trying to do better about unhooking these things by myself yeah so sketchy I think look at me look at me go okay I caught number two only got one left I'm the winner here. Till next time. Next up on the list is that quarter ounce Trizzy Trap. Lure number five is a quarter ounce rattle trap. That looks good. That looks good. I think we're gonna catch one on that. Like a black bag with some chartreuse. Good for this cloudy day. Looks good. Let's get it tied on. See if we can catch one. Oh, on the trap. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, we're getting these lures knocked off quick. He bunked the trap. Lure number five checked off the list. Let's see if we can catch one just a little bit bigger before we tie something else on. See ya. Thanks for biting. Oh, that's a three pounder. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Nope, he's not a three pounder. <laughs> they bunk this trap so hard every single time. It, they just feel giant. But front hook again, they're loaded in this corner. Let's catch some more. Well, we just cracked one on the Japanese big bite. So now I'm going to try this little crazy looking. Look at the tail on this thing. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely something different. So let's just see what we can do with this. Kind of a crazy off the wall color, but uh, we're just gonna wing it. We're just gonna go with the boys. Dude, I don't even lie to you guys. I don't even know how to fish this thing. It does not have action on it. Like it has that action, but it doesn't make like a thump or anything like a uh, paddle tail would. This thing is just like, I don't even know how to explain it. Just look at the tail. It's just like, I don't know. I really just don't know. Oh my God, oh my God. No shot, dude, no shot, no. No way, 
No chance. Now my foot's soaking wet. Oh, he poked me. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Dude. Oh my God, I just ruined my shoes. <laughs> there's a light spot in the water right there. I was standing all the way up here. I was like, I wonder if there's anything sitting there. And in fact, there was a nice fish sitting right there. Where did my bait even go? Finally, dude, I've been ripping this thing for the longest time. And we finally connected with a good size, thick Florida fish, dude. Bro, my gosh, makes me so freaking happy. Just got done. Oh yeah, ripped me open too. Spined me. That hurt real, real nice. But anyways, let's get you back, dude. Let you grow, grow for another day. Beautiful, thick, healthy, big-bodied Florida bass, baby. Let's go. Okay, I'm on my last one. I don't know what it is about this one, but it feels like a literally a gummy worm, like a. Like it just feels different than all the other ones. Like it's just squishy. It smells like pepper. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't put them on concrete. Don't put them on concrete. Holy oh, smokes. Calm down. It was mad mad oh my goodness it only took you all day long to catch that fish mm. on that little worm right there Here. why was it so tough to catch that know. fish you had crazier ones than me i don't even Look understand that it big one out there. i know i don't understand it either i guess i'm not as good as i once was <laughs> easy there toby keith well that's good though i mean you completed your challenge i think mm -hmm. my heart's literally pounding <laughs> Cause I, like, I don't know, I, I can't even explain it. It's been a it's rough a little, day. It's a rough day and it's a little beady one. Well, little fish are better than no fish. And, but it's, this little fish has stressed me out, but I have completed my challenge. <laughs> Bye Felicia. All right, there we go, gentlemen. Now we're rigged up, last bait for me. Wonder how Trey and April's doing because I, and uh, I'm actually excited to see what I can catch on this. I did lose like no joke. Hopefully I got that on the GoPro. Literally lost like a three or four pounder. Jumped up, spit it out because the hook was too small, but I've upgraded the hook size. And now all we gotta do is catch one slipping boys. And we are in there like somewhere. Oh. I just got annihilated right there. <laughs> I just got absolutely destroyed right there. I don't know if I'm crazy and like setting the hook on a stick, but I keep feeling like I'm getting bites. Like right off this little point right here. Reeling, stopping. Reeling, stopping. Hopping, popping. I swear that's a fish, dude. There's no way. There's no way. There's no freaking way. Not a chance. Dude, if I'm doing this with like, let me watch me set the hook next time, it'd be a stick. There's no chance. Burning. It shouldn't burn it. It shouldn't burn it. Oh, oh, it was a fish. <laughs> there it is, baby. Yes, finally. Thank you. <laughs> Holy smokes, finally. Look at the hook set on that freaking kamikaze wampus cat fishing lure right there. Beautiful, tanned up, real nice Florida bass. Ooh, there we go. Holy smokes. Well, that's gonna do it for me for the, uh, the whole Japanese fishing lures. And this is definitely by far the hardest one very solid fish gotta love it oh hey fancy yeah. seeing you here finally finished up You're on done? the last little yep just finished last fish i kept getting like messed with on this little point right here and i was like all right so i would burn it real fast i would stop it i'd reel i'd stop and the next thing you know boom well ladies and gentlemen that's gonna do it for me thank goodness 
that is over and done with. It took me forever to catch something on this. Though I did get two bites, two good bites, two big bites, and still freaking missed them. Finally connected with one. I think the like the shape of the bait just really throws it off. It's so thick too. So I think they were like biting it and they just couldn't get the hook in their mouth. But anyways, thank goodness that's over. Next lure of the day is gonna be this beaver here. These baits smell like garlic. I don't know. They just smell like fish to me. It smells like the, just the smell of just catching fish. I just love that garlicky smell. Oh, I got one finally on the gambler. Let's go. What's up, little dude? Finally, I missed like four fish on this bait and I finally caught one. Oh. Well, there he goes. All right, let's try this top water again. It's a funny looking, like just weird walking bait. I don't know. I made a few casts with it earlier. It looks really good, but the shape's just funny. Let's see if we can get a bite on it. Let's go. On the spook, finally. Finally got hooked up on the spook. Oh, ho, ho. Third bite of the day on this spook. First one that hooked up. The hookup ratio is not good on this thing at all. See ya. Peace. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to bring this video to a close. All three of these boxes were absolutely awesome. We caught a fish on everything in there except for the UK musky lures. And I just don't think those were made for bass. Make sure you guys get this video to 4,000 likes, and we'll do this again, but I'll let you guys pick the three countries that we try this with. Also, before we go, the giveaway winner for the Metanium DC is popping up on the screen right now. Send me a message on Instagram. That way I can verify you are who you are and get the reel sent out to the right person. So congratulations, popping up on the screen. And with that said, I love you guys. Catch you on the next venture. Peace.